to. You need me to get off stage quicker. I did though. I, I did do that. I'm taking that moment there because that's the part where she's where she's um she's changing her mind. You know, it's not in the script, but it's where I am naturally finding her to go. I hit that word. I did. I did tonight. I, I heard myself do it. Well, I came to that conclusion because I read the character description. Sure, I can I can speed that part up. I I just don't know if it's gonna land as well. Literally last year, she did say that we were gonna do Legally Blonde and now we're not. Oh, hey, Sam, right? <laughs> Congratulations, a freshman getting a supporting role. I don't know if, <laughs> I don't know if you know this, but we normally work off of seniority here. So Ms. Johnson really must love you. Must have had a really good audition. What'd you sing for, for the audition? What <laughs> for the audition? What did you sing? Oh, astonishing! <laughs> no, we no we we know the song. We know where it's from. Um, <laughs> uh, that's great. I I bet you did a great job. But you, I mean, you must have considering that you got a part. I don't know if you know this, but my friend. Rachel over there, she was really hoping to get your part and she's a junior. So do with that information what you will. <laughs> His hands bore the blood of thousands of children. Slave. Come on, you poor unfortunate soul. Go ahead, make your choice. I'm a very busy woman and I haven't got a day. It won't cost much, just your boy. So are you guys ready for the show today? Because honestly, Shelby, you said that the little weekend warm-ups. I mean, it's fine, but like, I just want to check to make sure you were okay. Did you guys hear that Jessica might call out for tonight's show? Yeah, I know. Like, you should have been conserving your voice at dinner last night, girl. Like, it's your own fault. Not to start up drama or anything, but Shelby, Brian was telling me that in your scene, he was having a hard time hearing the music because you were singing so loud. I mean, you should probably take it up with him, but like, that's just what I heard. Anyways, look how well I did my eyeliner today. Right? It looks so good. How long do we have till places? 10 minutes? I mean, like, I'll be ready before that. I just wanted to check to make sure um, the rest of you would. Like, I'm totally ready. God, I hope no one stops me after the show today. I mean, it's, like, great and everything, but, like, when they do, it's just like, oh, my gosh, like, you did such a good job, and, like, ugh. It's just like, I want to go home and, like, sleep before the next show, you know? Oh, girl, you might want to fix your eyeliner. Yeah, like, the wing just, like, looks a little thin. Like, you might want to thicken it up. Just my opinion, but, you know. I still have to do my lipstick, but how do I look? Wait, what? They just called places crap. I haven't even gotten dressed yet. Cause maybe they like myself work on my mental health Might even feel compelled to finally let go But it's an empty- God, America, I'm wearing pants! Look at me, a girl with pants! You can run so much better in pants! Day in the life as a theater kid. So today we get up bright and early at 8 a.m. after making my directorial debut last night in our high school's production of Happy Birthday Wanda to June, which was amazing. This was me getting ready for my online vocal lesson and doing my vocal warm-ups, which I definitely did not forget to do five minutes before my lesson started. Once that's done, I have lots of time to kill, so I decided to watch the Netherlands USA soccer game. After that, I took a nap, then I took a shower, and those are all my six stickers. And there's my cat Freya, and I love her so much. And after that, it was time to get ready for my rehearsal for Christmas Carol radio play. But what they didn't tell me was that they changed the schedule for the rehearsal, so I sat in the pouring rain. But that does mean I got to have a meal before um, it was time for me to drive on over to the high school to do closing night of Happy Birthday Wanda June. This is me struggling to get the doors open, but I eventually got in, and someone made Happy Birthday Wanda June cupcakes, which were so cute. This is all of us backstage, and we played a little game where we had Cards Against Humanity cards um, reveal our futures. I think Ava's question was how she was going to die, so Ava's going to die from Harry Potter erotica. Very nice. We played a couple rounds of Cards Against Humanity, and then it was time to get the set ready for open house. This is a little shot of the set from on the stage.
very nice, very nice. And this is a shot of the set from off the stage, so you get to see everything. I love this set so much. And there's Alex, who plays Harold Ryan. Not sure why he's there, but this is me selling tickets at the door right before we started. And here's some backstage shenanigans. Are you engaging in gay behavior? Yes, always. <laughs> here's what it looks like backstage when the curtain opens up for the top of Act 1, and here's Alex doing more backstage shenanigans. Um, overall, everyone did so well, and I'm so proud of all of them. And that was it for closing night. I'm so happy that I got to be a director for such a wonderful show. And all in all, that's my... Ever seen a ghost? I was over on the bench. I was over on the bench. I was over on the bench. I was sitting over on the bench. I was over on the bench. I made a salad with craisins. Hello, I'm Chip Mullaney. I'm your father. But sometimes he would be gay. Ever been to the goddamn zoo? I used to smoke crack. What's yesterday? I'm just a teenage dirtbag baby Yeah, I'm just a teenage dirtbag baby You listen to Iron Maiden Baby with me